Hey what's going on guys, my name is Super Pro, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a real quick video just teaching you guys how to split your game audio and your live commentary on an Elgato HD game capture software. So, first of all, what you're going to want to do is go up to your preferences. This is the button up here and you're going to start a capture. Now what you need to do is to take note of your file export location right here. This is where all your files are going to go. If you guys have used the Elgato before, you probably already know. But just keep note of that. Uh, I just have mine in my videos folder, which is right here. So, now, we have, now that we have that, you're going to want to go to the next tab over, Sharing. Now this is what it normally looks like. I recommend you guys keep this right here normal because MP4 files are the easiest to work with in an editing you know, program. So, this is what normally happens right here. This is the standard file that gets uh, created whenever you make a video from the Elgato. Everything's mixed together in one file. Um, obviously, if you put it in an editing software, there'll be the video file and the audio file, but the game audio and the live commentary is going to be mixed together into one. It's going to be kind of annoying. I don't really like that. So I was trying to figure out a way you know, to fix it, and I just so happened to find it up here when I was just looking around. So. Um, Anyway, back on track. To fix this, um, you see down here, there's a you know a little list that says export to separate files. Now what that does is creates a separate file, and whatever you check here makes it into its own file. So say if I made a video, um, this is act don't worry about this. This is just the live video that I'm. This is the uh, video coming from OBS right now. But if I made a video on here, what would come up in my video file would be. Uh, just one video file that would have you know the audio mixed together and stuff. Now, if I check this, I would have that that same thing, but there'd be a separate file that pops up, which is just the live commentary. So, the next thing you need to do, like I like I just said, check this, check this box. That way, you get the separate live commentary file, and then uncheck this box. So that way, you'll have your video and your game audio into one file and you'll have your live commentary in a separate file. So let's go ahead and test this out. Um, right here, so I'll go ahead and change my settings back to how they normally would be. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up my game audio as well. Um, there we go, so I have my live commentary going now. So here's the video, here's the test video with all the standard settings. We'll jump back up here. Oops. Change this. So before I start recording, you can see right here. Um, here's the file that you would normally see. So we'll go ahead and uh, see if I can check this out. There we go. So I have my live commentary going now. There we go. So that's the standard uh, file that you would get. Um, let's go ahead and leave that there, and now we'll do the recording with the separate live commentary. Excuse me, that's my messenger going off. But so now we have that, and as you can see, maybe I can get it before it pops up. Yeah. So here, this is the video and the game audio, and this is a separate file for the live commentary. So the difference is an extreme one because now if I go into my video editing software of choice which is Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum so I'm going to create a new file right here so let's go ahead we'll add media we'll go to here we'll, we'll go ahead and add all three of these files into our little uh, media bar right here so let me see right here pretty sure this should be the one of uh there you go so I have my life let's see here all right so this is everything that's mixed together I'll go ahead and put that in the full screen here so if I wanted to cut out something let's say I'm gonna cut out this last little bit right here as you can see the waveform down here no. I don't want to say this no. so if I said that if, if I didn't want that there in a normal recording I would have to if I wanted to cut it out I would have to deal with trimming out that additional video 
which is just annoying. It kind of makes uh, makes for bad content. I made that mistake yesterday um, in my other video. So now, since we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and add these two files. Uh, actually, do this one at a time here. So as you can see, we have our game video and our game audio. And then I can just separately, nice, quick, and easy, just add my live commentary. So to me, this is awesome. This is just like so much easier for me to uh, to work with because do the save, record some live gameplay, and I just don't want to say this part right here. All right, so I can just go ahead and split this and cut that out. Now, I think I clicked the wrong the wrong setting, but and now we'll do so you know in, in a normal video. Now we'll do, as you can see, the I can keep the game audio, the game video, everything's the same, and I can just uh, just snip out my voice if I need if uh, and if need be. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Hopefully, this helped you guys out. If you guys need any other uh, any other help with Elgato, you know, software, or Sony Vegas Movio Studio Platinum, I can help you out. Uh, just leave a comment, let me know what you need, and I'll totally, uh, I'll try to hook you up the best I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me.